All right, let's go. So hello, I'm Steven. Uh, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm the guy on this channel and Roscoe on uh, Twitter. And this is like my base reveal. I, I've done it before, but for those of you who don't know what I look like, ta-da, here I am. So yeah, and my fucking hair's not... Okay, there we go. <laughs> That's gonna... Because that was gonna bother me. So, um, basically what I'm gonna be doing is... I opened up... What was it? Bowman Draft. Triple Threads. Museum Collection. Museum Collection and Triple Threads were the first time I ever opened those. And Bowman Draft, I've opened before, just never the hobby boxes. So, technically, it was my first hobby box. But I've never opened Triple Threads or Museum Collection. So, that's my first time ever opening those. So, I'm gonna go over some cards and stuff that I got. I probably should have sleeved these up, but I didn't because... I don't know. I don't think they're worth sleeving up really. They're just parallel. I think these are just some parallels, but I'll probably sleeve them up. So... Okay, so from museum collection, I think you get, I think it's like one in a pack, basically. These were a little damaged, but it's nothing terrible. Uh, you got, oh no, it was one per pack. Okay, so you get four of these, like, bronze-ish looking cards here. I'll show you the first one. is Chipper Jones, by the way. I'll show you that. It's like, got like a bronze on the border. So, you got that, which is cool. So, we got a Chipper Jones, as I showed you before. We got a uh, Manny Machado. I don't know how I'm supposed to show this. I haven't done this in a while, so forgive me. Manny Machado. And then the last two are Houston Astros. Uh, Alex Bregman. And a rookie card of Kyle Tucker. So, yeah. So, with also with the um, Bowman Draft, you got like a lot of inserts. So, I'm not going to show off all the inserts. I'm just going to show off the, uh, the autographs that I have. So, let me just look for those real quick. Okay, so those are Museum Collection. Oh, wait. I forgot to show off the Triple Threads parallels. Whoops. I apologize. So, Triple Threads. The lowest numbered card we got out of the parallels that aren't an autograph or a relic. Was this 66 out of 99 Ricky Henderson? So that's cool. I, I like that card a lot. Especially because, one, he's a Yankee and that's gonna go in my Yankee collection. And two, I just like Ricky Henderson in general. Uh, next one was out of 199, 152 out of 199, Zach Greinke when he was on the Diamondbacks. Because I believe when this product came out, he was still on the Diamondbacks. I could be wrong. And then the last one was out of 299 194 to 299 purple Reese Hoskins so there's that oh and then in museum collection I don't know how rare it is to get these but I got this uh it's a canvas collection Buster Posey so that's pretty cool there's the back if anybody wants to pause it and read it I know it's backwards but on camera I think it's different so for me it's backwards but yeah, so I thought that was cool for my first box of triple threads and museum collection. Okay, so that's that. So these two are from... Okay, so that one and that one are from the Bowman. This, this. Okay, so these are from triple threads. This was... Was this museum collection or triple threads? I don't remember. <laughs> uh shit. Give me one second, guys. I apologize. I'm assuming this is not triple threads because it doesn't have the... Oh, it does have the T, so that is triple threads. Oops. Uh, this was museum. This was triple threads. This was triple threads. This was museum. And these two were museum. Okay, so with the Bowman Draft, you got 
three auto three chrome autos. So here's one of them base auto of Matt Cantaner Cantarino. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's just a base autograph. Nothing special about it, but nice signature. I really like that signature. Uh, next one we have is obviously for my Yankees collection of 373 out of 499 uh, refractor. I'm assuming. Yep, refractor. Josh Smith, like his autograph as well. You can see the numbering right where my pinky is. So that's cool. And last but not least, we have a redemption card, which I have not redeemed yet. As you can see right there, I have yet to redeem it. Uh, uh, class of 2019 autograph of Corey Lee. So another base autograph. So not terrible, I guess. And then I also have another redemption from Rookies and Stars. Uh, I'm not really going to show anything off of that because I don't have it sleeved up yet, but I'm just going to show off the redemption. It's a um, freshman orientation insert of Paris Campbell. I don't know how good he is, but as you can see there, if it'll focus. And then I also have 600 Panini points that I got, so that's cool. So I might give those the two redemptions and the uh, 600 points away, so be on the lookout for that. If you don't follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter. Uh, what do I show next? I'll show the triple threads. So like I said before, triple threads was my first ever like box like high high end box so we'll do the auto oh yeah so i got two auto relics which is cool we'll do the two relics and we'll do the two auto relics and then we'll do the, the one on the back okay so this one is cool he's one of my favorite players that's not a yankee i have a lot of favorite players who aren't yankees and this is one of them Number the 6 out of 27, it's like a bluish purple. Looks very nice with the card. Uh, Mark would like this one. Giraffe Neck Mark. Shout out to him. South Carolina Gamecock. Whit Merrifield. Just a jumbo relic. Very nice. Very, very nice. I like it a lot. You guys can kind of see him playing MLB The Show on the on the thingy. The, uh, the top, top loader. The One Touch. So, yeah, so that's very cool. I like that. The next one I got was a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14-piece 14 uh, relic set. Number 17 out of 36. It's looks like one half is the jersey, then the middle is a piece of the bat, and then the other half is the other part of the jersey, I guess. And it's uh, called... Leather and Lumber of Nolan Arenado. Another guy I like who's not a Yankee. You can see the numbering right there. Leather and Lumber. It's a very nice card. I will say that triple threads, even though a lot of the times you you could either it could go either or, like you can make your money back or you can lose it. Honestly, I don't care because this was my first box and I think I did pretty decent. I don't think I did great, but I did decent for triple threads. So the next one is a sticker auto. The both sticker autos, sadly, but this one is cool. It's 72 out of 99 of Houston Astros. Um, Lance McCullers Jr., the pitcher. Um, the patch is really, or not the patch, the relic is really cool because it has like a string of jersey going across like diagonally like that. So that's kind of cool. So you can see, like, right there. So, uh, yeah. So that's pretty cool. Lance some Colors Jr. Next is a quad rookie relic. Number 34 to 50. Uh, two jersey pieces. Well, it's obviously all jersey pieces, but it's two regular jersey pieces. And then it has cut out in it RC for rookie. <clears throat> and it's of Yusei Kikuchi. I'm trying to figure out how to like do this. I'm I'm sorry guys. So like I said, two jersey pieces and then RC out of ninety nine or out of fifty, I apologize. Out of fifty. 
Let me turn off the TV real quick. Hold on. Okay. Got a little too close there. Okay, there you go. Now you can probably see it a little bit better without it reflecting back. Because I got the ceiling fan light on right there and then the light over there. So it's probably creating a lot of light. But we'll just deal with it until we get professional. And then last but not least, I thought this was a redemption. Because I thought maybe I got like an extra hit or something. Uh, so I tweeted at Phil Hughes about it. If you haven't seen it on Twitter, go check that out. Um, it's a printing plate. But it's a base printing plate. <coughs> now, I'm used to getting a printing plate in, like, other products. Like, not the high, high-end products, like Triple Threads and Museum Collection. But, like, the lower, mid-end products, like, um, Top Series 1, Series 2, Update. Like, those kind of things. And them being 101s. I've never opened Triple Threads, like I said. This is my first box. And I pulled a printing plate. Black printing plate. Or, mm, no, it's black. Of Mariano Rivera. He's the cover boy for Museum Collection. For those of you who don't know. This is so sick dude. Uh, I apologize like I said about the glare. I'm trying to do my best. Not showing it. And then here's the back. Doesn't say 101. It would usually say like 101 like here. Maybe or up here somewhere. It would either be engraved like how the other number cards were. Or it would say in like printed out words one of one. But it's not. But it's still a printing plate, so that's cool. I thought that was really, really sick. Okay, so next is Museum Collection. So, uh, two of the cards I don't have uh, one-touched because I don't have the proper one-touches. So, hopefully when I do get the proper one-touches, they will be one-touched. Um, I probably won't have them till after the New Year. So... If anybody's, like, I'm going to sell these, but maybe not right now. I want to keep them a little bit, but maybe I'll eventually sell them. Anyways, so you get a quad relic, a prime relic, an auto relic, and an auto. The auto is really, really sick. Uh, Coogs and Magunski are going to like it a lot. It's not Trout. I can tell you that right now. It's not Trout. But anyways, so the quad relic is of an Indian. Fuzzy. Uh, you get, so you get three little pieces and then one big, like, circular piece. This is the one I got. I don't know how it works standardly. But we got two of a white jersey and two of the black jersey. It's numbered 16 out of 75. Jose Ramirez. Boom. Quad relic. And I, I believe in years, because I've seen it in years past, you can get, um... Like, patches out of these, but I wasn't lucky enough. But, hey, it's still a nice relic. Out of 75, too. So. And I think in triple threads and in museum collection, everything is low-numbered. Like, that isn't, like, a parallel, like how these cards were in triple threads. I think, if I'm correct, everything should be low-numbered. Okay, next one is the auto relic. Uh, another guy I really like in MLB The Show 18. Uh, number 21 out of 52 like of the blue jerseys with a sticker auto, sadly, right? Yeah, that's a sticker auto. <clears throat> uh, RGS and um, Gomes, the legend, would like this guy. Willie Adamez. Twenty one out of fifty, like I said. I gotta make sure I read that right. So, got that. Again, I'm hoping to get those uh, sleeved up. Or not sleeved up, um, put in one touches. Okay, then we got the Meaningful uh, meaningful Material or the Prime, uh, what did it say, Prime Relic, something like that. It's a nice jersey piece with like a piece of the jersey striping like from here or the pants. I would assume it's from like on the shoulder. I'm trying to look at it. Yeah, it's like on the on the shoulder. Oh no, it's. Oh, let me put it down. If you're looking at a jersey, it's like this part right here from here where the the striping is. Like if you guys, so for those of you who don't know what a baseball jersey looks like, I'm assuming you all do, but in case you don't, there's stitching right here on the sleeve. Now I don't know how well you can see it on my shirt because it's black, but you see the sh the stitching, right? So you have stitching there 
where the team usually like puts like a, a, a like a stripe. Like the Yankees, it's like a black or a navy blue. Other teams, it's other colors. So that's what I'm assuming that is because that's what it looks like. But it's 23 to 25. So almost the eBay 101 of Joey Votto. So you can kind of see like right there. It would either be to the pants stripe right there or the shirt stripe right there. It'll focus. Come on, focus. Focus! You get you get the point. You guys get the point. And then the last one is the autograph. Now, I probably shouldn't be doing this, but this was like the best way I could do it. I put some base cards that I had from, uh, what was it? Uh, National Baseball Card Day. Nothing special. Just some base cards. I threw them in the back of this because I thought this does fit in here, but it's a little roomy. So I have to get the proper one. And I didn't know like how to sleeve it up because I don't have big enough sleeves for this. But it's a framed, black framed autograph of an old player, number two out of five, with a silver autograph. I think the the rarer the or the rarer, the better the color of the autograph, the rarer it is. So if it's like silver, I think it's pretty rare. I think black is rare. I don't know what the numbering is, and I think gold is like really rare. I could be wrong, but anyways. Number two out of five for this framed autograph of Rod Carew. Now you can kind of hear it as I like picked it up. You can hear like the. I'm gonna try not to shake it so much. But you hear like the you hear it hitting like up here and then down here, and then the sides. You hear it a little bit better. So I don't want to damage it, so I'm just gonna stop doing that. But number two out of five right there, Rod Carew, and like I said on the back, I got some cards from National Baseball Card Day to try to pack it in a little bit. Like I said, it's not the smartest thing to do, but it's better than what I was originally going to do and just leave it in there and like let it slosh around a lot. So I'm saving it a little bit until, like I said, I get the proper sleeving, sleevage for it. So yeah, got that. So that was my first museum collection and triple threads box. Um... It went well, I guess. No complaints. And I really enjoyed it. I might just have to buy another box or two. And um, another announcement I really want to make real quick is either next Friday or Saturday, I would like to do a charity stream. I'm probably going to have to set up a PayPal maybe since I don't have, if I'm not up there yet on Twitch. Um, I just wanted to do like a stream where we donate money to the troops and I'm going to take all that money, either send it to an organization or I'm going to take the money personally, go buy some, you know, some small supplies for the military and then send it out. So like toothpaste, toothbrushes, um, hair products, shaving products, all that type of stuff. Because, you know, a lot of their family members don't really send them anything. I remember a couple years back, maybe like two or three years, my cousin who's in the Navy um, was like, yeah, we don't really get, like nobody sent has sent me a care package and we have, we've sent them some stuff and, you know, it only lasts them as long as much as you send them. So, you know, some snacks would be good, all that stuff. So if you guys could do that, that would be great. You know, donate to the cause. I'm going to try to get some people in on it. If not, I'm going to try my best to try to partner up with somebody, get them to help me out a little bit. That way it's not just all on me to do it. So yeah, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoy our holidays. Happy Christmas or Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. Enjoy your holiday, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, and enjoy your day. Thank you, guys.